the Coors Field here in Denver. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Stepping in, Steven Souza. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs the they right just field. gave up. Well, Matt, mm -hmm. I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. We're moving along late into this one and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes and when you're doing that you really put the hitters on the defensive. Popped him up. Number 58 is under it. One out. The third baseman number five Eduardo Escobar. Now batting Eduardo Escobar. He was a ground out victim last time up. Pitch on the way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Story is short. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now well executed two base. seamer on the outside Three corner that time, and, and that's Walker. what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. At the plate, Christian Walker. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0-2. Oh, Ready with another 0-2. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. And as you can see, they are way behind. T.J. McFarland comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. McFarland. With the plate, Ian Desmond. Two hits in Lady four out. attempts four to this rocking. point. Well, Matt, this the is one of the fielder. problems. This guy's a good yeah. fastball, particularly yeah. low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. High and deep to right center. Marte is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batter, number 58. Settling in now, number 58. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Yeah, Matt, and that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. He pulls this one into right. 
Souza is right there as he takes it for the second out. Now to the now plate, back. the pitcher, Kyle no pitcher. Freeland. He's been great Kyle. on the mound, so we'll see if he can do Freeland. something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Souza is under it. And that's the third out. Three up. Stepping into the box, David Peralta. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. I don't know if this is great deception by the pitcher, great arm action, or just bad offensive approach. They got to find a way to get something in the zone. Somebody's got to be willing to take a pitch, maybe move something the other way to kind of calibrate what the strike zone's going to be. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Left side. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. And now it looks like they want some time to review that one here, so they'll check with their replay guys. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. So here's the signal from the bench, and they Ladies will and indeed the ask Rockies for that play to be reviewed. So the play. umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Okay, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well-used challenge. Upon video review, the call of safe at first base has been overturned, and the batter ruled out. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Hit hard on the ground to the right. McMahon fields a cleaner. Throw on to first, two down. Huge out number two here in the eighth. Four Six. outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Digging in, Nick Ahmed. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. And that was one of the hardest tip balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Oh. That misses. 1-1 one one. One the count now to the Arizona shortstop. Oh. 
Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. McMahon gathers it in. Go to Murphy, he'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order, and they remain well, well behind. So the Rockies lineup turns over Four and to the plate. Charlie Blackman. Right it's been a nice Charlie. game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Well, back yeah, in the man. day, you would hope your leadoff oh, man could off. work a walk or oh, oh. leg out an infield single, but not oh, in today's hey. game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. Into the box now, Trevor Story. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that is through into left field, the base hit. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. Boy, they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. In now, David Dahl. Line toward center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Hey, every pitcher likes to now have some run scored for him, particularly man. when you're throwing right. as well as he is tonight. Right. And oh, no. he gets another insurance run on top of it. Now in the box, Nolan Arenado. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch on its way. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as this lead got even wider. Skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Number 37 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 37. Now playing shortstop and batting eight. Number nine. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Standing in now, Daniel Murphy. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. The ball is number 24. Second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Stepping in now, Ryan McMahon. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D. Roy, I, I, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two strike pitch. No get me over curveballs, no get me over changeups. Every pitch has to hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as the blowout continues. Now about it, center fielder. Ian. Into the box now, Ian Desmond. 
Swing and a ball in line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Four runs here in this half inning. Here's the 0 2. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 0 2 once more is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Leading off for Arizona. Stepping in, stop. number nine, number ready nine. to get his day at the plate started right here. First pitch of the at bat. Ninth Eight. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Fastball, and he's quickly in the Eight. hole, 0 and 2. These are the at bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count and now you find yourself down 0 2 scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. Fouled away. And he struck him out for route number one. So now just two outs away from the no no. A reminder not to Up touch that to remote after foul. we're through as you'll the see catcher. full highlights of the ball Carson. game this afternoon Kelly. exclusively right here on the show. Ready for another chance. Carson Kelly. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, Too okay. high. One and oh. Ball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. One out, nobody on. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Into the bleachers and gone. So there'll be no visit to the record books here in this one as after eight and a third no hit innings. They finally get to him for their first hit of the ball game. Rats. Such a tough one as a pitcher, Dero. 25 outs yeah. and then to give it up with one out in the ninth. I'll tell you what, from an offensive standpoint, you, you don't want to be on a team that gets no hit without question. You're going to do everything in your power to mix in and knock, and that's exactly what they But tip your hat right there. The guy has thrown the heck out of the ball tonight. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more now than batters. others. But right the best there. ones, forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. The 0-1 delivery. Weak rounder back to the mound. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball game is over. 26 to 1 the final today. The Rockies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kyle Freeland is credited with the win. Robbie Ray allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.
time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. 